Message from the Ashtar Command March 21st 12th Sorry we have left the lights out. Tomorrow we will turn the outboard lights of our ships on so many of you can see us for yourselves and take as much photographic and video evidence as you wish. We of the Ashtar Command are joining with our brothers and sisters of the Galactic Federation of Light in allowing more sightings of our ships, as well as much clearer sightings, to act as icebreakers to our presence in your world. Our command is also here in great numbers, and we have ships stationed above many different parts of your planet. We would like you to also understand that although our ships may differ in appearance from some of those of the Galactic Federation of Light, when you see our ships you will not be seeing ships of the forces controlled by your dark cabal. Our ships can be rather large in size, and our ships differ in their appearance somewhat from Galactic Federation of Light ships as our ships utilize light technologies as a source for their propulsion and operation and may differ greatly due to this these properties. When you see our ships you will be seeing light that differs in color to the background of the sky or space. You will still be able to photograph and videotape our ships, although what will appear on your third dimensional film will not be clear outlines and depictions of how our ships truly appear and look like to us from our perspective. Nonetheless, we feel it is important that we begin to make our ships known to the people of your world as we are here and you will be seeing our ships in your daytime as well as nighttime skies. The Ashtar Command has many ships of varying size and capabilities. We have ships designed for peaceful application. And we also have warships used to assist in the removal of the forces of the dark from worlds where the lessons learned from them are no longer necessary for the education and upliftment of those of a particular planet. Our ships used for this purpose do not function such as the warships of your third dimensional world, rather our ships peacefully and harmlessly round up and exile the machines of war and their crews from their positions around and throughout a planet. Just as the Galactic Federation of Light, we to do all we can to make sure no harm comes to those of the opposing forces, but they must be removed somehow if they do not voluntarily surrender and end their resistance to the new direction of a society. Our ships will radiate in many different vibrant colors as each color possesses a different property and allows for certain capabilities. You may refer to our ships as light ships, for indeed this is how they will appear to you. Upon your ascension into the higher realms, our ships will appear slightly different to you. But depending on your level of advancement they may not appear in their true form and shape. We would recommend that the people of your world begin to become familiar with the appearance of our ships and the appearance of Galactic Federation of Light Ships as you will be seeing us in your skies and it may be useful for you to be able to recognize our different alliances and assist others in our identification. We, the Ashtar Command, are aligned in our mission with the Galactic Federation of Light at this time. We are playing for the same team. We are both of the Light, and are both here for the upliftment of your planet and her people. You will not be seeing any other organizations or alliances of the Dark here any longer, and you have nothing to worry about in this regard. We now have your atmosphere secured, and they will remain this way all the way through your planet's ascension into the higher realms. You can be confident in our abilities and trust that we have performed operations such as this very many times before. 
your safety is in good hands. Do not fear any ships you see in your skies as they will be manned by beings of the light who are here in service to you at this time. We would like to see many of you sharing this information with your brothers and sisters as we wish to step up greatly the number and quality of the sightings of our ships and this can only be made possible when an adequate understanding of who we are and why. We are here is reached by your people. Help us help you are words we would like you to keep in mind as we proceed with the next phases of operation. Many new avenues have been opened in recent days as we have been able to remove the Kobel's fighting forces from their positions around your planet. We now enjoy the luxury of free movement and will take full advantage of this as we now proceed with the next phases of the overall mission. We have much to do together, and these activities will begin with a flurry of activity all around your world. We will engage many of you in our operations and permit you to take back home with you evidence of your experiences with us to share with those of your world who wish to learn of us and see the truth of why we are here. There will be those who resist us and engage in a smear campaign against us and our reasons for being here and we wish for you to act as a balancing agent for these attempts to discredit us. We do not ask you to try to convince anyone of anything they do not wish to see. We only wish for you to share your truth and your understanding of us. That is all we ask. We do not ask anything more. And we thank you all for your tremendous efforts to spread the news of us and inform your brothers and sisters of what is transpiring in their world. Your work does not go unnoticed and will not go unrewarded. You have our word on this. Many surprises are in store for your people, and we look forward to presenting these gifts to you. These are not gifts from strangers. These are gifts from family, for indeed that is who we are to you. We are your families from long ago, and we have returned an offer of assistance in your time of great change. Conditions will present themselves upon your planet where our experience and our technology will be very beneficial to you, and we would like nothing more than to share what we have with you and assist you in this way. This is the main reason we are here, and we ask you to allow us to assist you in this way and to trust us, for this trusting us will be rewarded. When we feel the time is right we will begin contacting many of you who have demonstrated that you have no fear of us and a willingness to work with us. How we will contact you differs from individual to individual, and we have effective methods to reach each and every one of you in one way or another. At that time, you will be given details of these opportunities and we will begin meeting with each of you personally to discuss your options. We have agreed to this undertaking in your skies to help better prepare your people for our eventual introductions to you. We do not wish to create a panic situation and we do not wish to be the harbinger of confusion within your societies. We only wish to make our presence known to you and offer our assistance to your world through those who we feel we can safely and beneficially work with. Please continue to be beacons of light for truth and understanding and share what you know about our command and what we do to assist worlds such as yours. Our intentions honorable and peaceful and all of your planet will see this in the days ahead. Help make our introductions proceed as smoothly as possible, as it will benefit your world greatly if we can begin our many projects together as soon as possible. After the arrests of the members of the criminal Hubel, 
This will be your next task. Breaking through walls of fear and ignorance will be a most formidable task. But together we will succeed through effort, perseverance, and focus. These are the keys to success, and they will unlock the door to avenues of incredible potential and possibility. The time is now to proceed. Focus on this and we will assist in our own ways with this worldwide disclosure. There are many advancements that will be yours once we can begin working with you, and all of you will benefit greatly, even those who resist us. This is the way it will be for a while, but the day will come when all of your world will see that we are what we have claimed to be. There are no more tricks. There are no more cons, and there are no more plots and schemes that will work against you. We have assisted in our own way to see to that, and all the talk you may come upon will only be fear mongering and attempts at distraction and disinformation. Be advised to ignore this fear-based information as it has no basis in fact, and none of these fear-based predictions of cabal trickery will ever materialize. We have said all along this would not be permitted and we have kept our word. There will also be no other world war no matter what you read or how much this event is discussed through your media. These are attempts at distraction and to instill fear within the masses. But these are mere words and they will never materialize. Your world is headed for peace, prosperity and freedom for all beings on your planet, and nothing will stand in your way. Your biggest obstacle now as a society and as an individual is to overcome fear. Fear is now your greatest enemy. Fear is now your only enemy. There is nothing to fear, as it is just an illusion. Allow it to dissipate as it has no place in your new home. The sooner you can all release these unfounded fears, the more quickly we can begin our many projects together which will see the upliftment of everyone across your entire planet. Much hardship will be obliterated forever once we can assist you. And it is fear and fear only that stands in the way of your new world. Tear down this wall as it stands on a foundation of lies and deceit, and allow us to help you make your world a better place for all of you. There is one more matter left unresolved before we can begin, and that is the removal from your society of the many members of your criminal cabal. Once we move beyond that stage your world will be filled with excitement and activity as we assist you to begin making the many great changes to your society. This will be a very exciting period in your history, and lives everywhere across your planet will benefit greatly as they are touched by the love that the Creator and His universe has for them. Many lives have been touched this way. And it is now your turn as you have earned the gifts you are now to receive. The Creator showers His children with His gifts when they are ready to receive, and you have shown that this day for you has now come. We are your family of light from the stars. As channeled through Greg Giles. Ascension Earth 2012.blogspot.com